give God thanks for his goodness. Um, this is the 125th year celebration of God's goodness to Krimawan. Krimawan is only in a manico, but see the Tsasa, Kurpong, Abaniko, Mariani, Somayonga. I'm going to be sharing four messages with you. And I want to make one request tonight. As I look around, uh, many of us don't have our Bibles with us this evening. Um, I'd like to request you to try and bring it when you come for the next few meetings. Because what we're, because what we're going to do in these days is we're going to study Deuteronomy chapter 8 carefully. And if you have your Bibles with you, it will be a great help for me. Normally when I come to speak at the Garo Hills, I'm invited as an evangelist to come and talk about Jesus. To come and invite people to altar call. But this time is different. I'm speaking at a, an anniversary celebration time. And in this time, what does God want to tell the people in Krima 1? The God who has been faithful for 125 years, what does he want to tell you tonight? What does he want to tell his church tonight? And so I want to encourage you, bring your Bibles with you. And if you can bring a pen and some paper, that would be even better. Because as I teach, you write down. And then when the meetings are finished, try and understand what God is trying to tell you and me Our theme for this particular series of meetings is taken from Psalm 145 verse 4. We are called to declare the mighty acts of God. But tonight I want to take you to Deuteronomy chapter 8. Let me give you the context of Deuteronomy chapter 8. The Israelites had been in bondage for over 400 years. God raised up Moses as their leader. God displayed great power, the ten plagues that happened. He delivered his children from bondage. And as they walked out of Egypt, they were now triumphant. They go through the experience of the Red Sea, they see the power of God. And then because of their disobedience, they journey in the wilderness for 40 years. And during those 40 years, God provides their need. God protects them. God leads them. And now they are standing right before the land of Canaan. When they look back, they see the goodness and the faithfulness of God. They look to the future and they see the promises of God. 
And Moses speaks to them in Deuteronomy chapter 8. And I want to share with you an outline for Deuteronomy chapter 8. And this is the outline I will be talking about every night. So by the time you finish this meeting, you will know this outline by heart. As I look at Deuteronomy chapter 8, there are three lessons that I want us to think about. Number one, as they stand at that important point of their history, as they look to the future, Moses says, number one, this is the desire of God. And in some ways, as you stand at this very important point in your history, hundred and twenty-five years of God's faithfulness, of God's faithfulness, this is the desire of God. That's the first lesson we look at tonight. The second lesson we want to look at from Deuteronomy chapter 8. Moses not only talks about the desire of God. He talks about the dealings of God. How, how has God dealt with us? What has God done for us? What have we experienced from the hands of God? The desire of God. The dealings of God. And finally, the decision of the children of God. This is what God desires. This is how he has dealt with us. This is the decision I need to make. That's the outline for Deuteronomy chapter 8. Let me just explain that a little more. What does God desire for his children? Look at Deuteronomy chapter 8. We are looking at verse 1. Let me read that verse for you. This is what Moses says. Be careful to follow every commandment I am giving you today so that you may live and increase and may enter and possess the land the Lord promised on oath to your ancestors. What does God desire for his people? He desires three things. Number one, he desires that they will prosper. What is Moses saying? God wants you to live, God wants you to increase in the land. So as we stand here at this very important point of our history, yes, God has blessed in amazing ways, but He wants to bless even more. God wants to prosper His children. As Moses is speaking to the household of Israel, he says, this is what God is desiring for you. He wants you to increase. He wants you to live. He wants you to prosper. And I believe that that's what God is saying to Krima number one. I have done great things in the past. But I want to do 
even greater things in the future. And when they buy us, Allah na bate dalaran ko tak nestinga. So number one, God desires to prosper His they, children. But they must kang pa isol adani they dalaran ko slowan na nrat na nangdeka. Number two. God desires that his children will possess the land. That's what the Bible says. Number one, that you will live and increase. Number two, that you will enter and occupy the land. What does God desire? He desires that I prosper. He desires that I possess the land. And in some ways, that's what God is saying to Krima number one. Aro yana kyan Krima number one na iso nangdek aganiya. Today, as you stand at this 125th anniversary celebration, ya dalsi ritsa sa kuma gapani ko manya ni sumay na sima uming on the God who has been good. Iso jian na sima nama. He says, "This is my desire for you." Wa gana yan ani na sima na skani. I want you to prosper. Ani sima ko slow na mukun nangdek. I want you to possess the land. There are still areas in the Garo Hills that need to be won for the glory of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ only rasong na kapirik ka na nangpa abakrang atska sumo dumeng kwa. Even today, Krima number one, dalang pa Krima number one. There are so many people around us that are still lost without Jesus Christ. Anci ni samba kaciyo Jesus kuri yung gumain ka parang bangal dumeng kwa. And the God who has grown His church. Our Isol Jan Anthony Mondoli called him a Sunga has not finished with you. Well, until Baksa Khan Pani Matsuk wants to bless you more. Well, Namasimana, but he wants you to reach out to those people that have lo- are lost without him. He wants to enlarge our territory. So Moses says to them, "This is God's desire. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to possess the land. And thirdly, he says, he wants to fulfill his promises to you." Look at verse one. Put somebody both so that you will live and increase. That's why no donge zero na that you will enter and possess. Yeah, that's why I am coming. Come now, the land that was promised to you. Yeah, I am coming. That's why no kutsak mana ha. So what does God desire? He desires that you prosper. He desires that you possess the land. He desires to fulfill his promises for your life. And today, as we celebrate this 125th year, Dalaji, a blessed sasa, kulrek mo ani ko mani ko. Just like the children of Israel, Israeli they drank that. They stand at, a, at, a, at the threshold of. Something exciting. Amaya pa ayon man pa nasya ni sabo chadeya ta sa sal. God says to Krima number one. Are you sure Krima number one na ganiya? This is my desire for you. Yan ang ni na si mga nas gani. And I want to say this to you tonight. Alang ay ako na si mga nas gani. And he's not only saying this to Krima number one. As he's saying to Krima number one ganiyon, he's saying this to you, my friend. Ay ay ko he's saying na 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 ganiya arpe. God wants to prosper us. He's saying that siya slow na mga nas gani. God wants to bless us. He's saying that siya pati nas gani. God wants to fulfill His promises for our life. Ang siya zangi thay na ni kura sa kaman ang ko ang siya zangi thay so katawas ka. So that's the First lesson in Deuteronomy chapter one. Deuteronomy, uh, that's our words. Kangabas kirani. This is God's desire. Ayan isoni skani. The second thing that Moses then talks to them. Ganig pa Moses ay kwa na. He says, "Let me talk to you about how God has dealt with us." Awa na a isol ang sinigang may ko ta kahawa ni para siya na aganer ta skinga. How has God been dealing with us? And sing na isol may rang ko ta kahawa ni kaman. And I want to say to you four things really quickly. A thara ka mung brick ko ganes ka. Number one, skang ka pa. God has dealt with us in grace. Isol ang sinag kasa sa be ta kaha. We're looking at verse five of Deuteronomy chapter eight. Moses talks about how God has dealt with them as a father deals with his son. 
ดิสซิปลินสิสซอนเจนะเคพาสตอฮาวิสกอดเดลท์วิดอัสอินเดอะพาสต์อะเนมิสซอนอันซินาสคังโอไมดิกิตะคาฮาฮาวิสกอดเ
yan ang ni nasimanas gani i want to prosper you ana simoko slurna mrota i want you to possess the land ana simoko aku man khamata ska i want to fulfill my promise to you ani ku nasimana kuna sakani chusu katna ska these have been my dealings with you yarang tanga nasimana takaha i have been gracious to you ana simana khasa chakbe ha i have guided you ana simoko re du ba ha i have been generous to you ana simana jakshram ha i have guarded you ana simana chel chakha and it's in this context Yam dakpa obosta usa that Moses says Mose agana children of Israel Israel ni dedram krama number 1 krama number 1 you've got to make a decision nasimang basi ani ko dakna nange there are four words i want us to think about mangbri khatharang ni wana nasimo ko chanchi ni ko nangda i'm going to talk about one of them tonight wa rawani mangsani wana ya kama ganas and the other three will talk in the next three sessions that i would say aro mangatham dongre kapani gwan angni makansi changatham agana nang ba agana ska what the first decision we need to make skanga pansni basi rana nani ra maya do not forget what the lord has done is so mai ko da kaha uko gwalna de so the first thing that god wants us to keep in mind Are bas khang pai sol ansini gisko yakodo nani ko nangme don't forget what i have done ara simana maikoda ka gwalabe the second thing that god wants us to keep in mind ganid pai sol yakho ansingo gisko dona ko nangme ka don't forsake the lord your god ra simani gatel his sol ko wat gwalabe decision number 1 skhang pai basir ani don't forget the lord a gatel ko gwalabe don't forget what he's done One, I mean, my God, I can't go on that. Decision number two. The new Baba Sirani. Don't forsake the Lord. The devil can't go on that. Decision number three. The Thang Baba Sirani. Always fear the Lord. Pang Nam, Jehovah na, the devil na can't go. And lesson number four. Aro bring pa. Be faithful in serving the Lord. Ah, the devil na damdu ke onani o kaket ongbo. Number one. Skang ba. Don't forget the Lord. Agatel ko gwalna be. Number two. Gani ba? Don't forsake the Lord. Agatel ko wat gwalna be. Number three. Gatham ko ba? Always fear the Lord. Pang nan agatel na ken bo. And number four. Brig ba? Be faithful in serving the Lord. Agatel na damdu ke onani o kaket ong bo. Tonight I want us to look at the first thought. Ya ano ang awas kang ba ko niya tani ko nandito? Do not forget what the Lord has done. Agatel Mai ko da kaha uko gwalna be. Let's look at our Bible. Han chini sastru kan chen ni na. Let me read to you at verse 11. Po chisa ko na simana poratna. This is what Moses says. Mose ya kwa gana. Be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God. Mai ka na angni geta ni rang nang pra geta ni ko ni geta ni ko aru ni yam rang ko. माइकोटा I read a story recently. Anga Musa Golpo ko adita sumaya maskang pula. There was a very godly king. Saksa na men isol na kengo pa raja tungo. He loved the Lord Jesus very much. Wa gatel Jesus na men kasa. And most of the people in his court were all Christians. Aro unik kasa diyo kang kagrang gumak kang gatong play Christian ng watson. But one of the things he found about his people. Ani ba Musa unik mandiran ko ang kini kasam. Is that they were very forgetful. खाचरी Unon dagu pa thebu ko thari dona plenty of food arwa thebu lo pa al chani no chhe everybody was wondering aru pa ansa chia mai ong na sia ni what is going to happen mai ong gen and suddenly anon bakan a beggar walked in saksa biam ga pasa na pajok he was smelling a singa his clothes were all torn 
And he walked straight in. And he sat at the table. And he started to eat the food. He ate and he drank and he ate and he drank. And he was going on eating. And when he was full. His stomach was out now. He got up. And he gave a big burp. And he walked out of the palace. And all the courtiers were very angry. They said, King, give us permission. We will hang that man. First of all, it was bad that he walked into the palace. Secondly, he ate so much. But the most important thing king he didn't even thank you he walked out and the king stood up and he looked at his courtiers and he said my friends this beggar did it only once and he did it to an earthly king but you, my friends, do it all the time to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I see you sit at my table and you eat and you fill yourself. I have never seen you stop and say, God, I want to thank you. Isn't it easy to forget what God has done? There were ten lepers that were healed. Nine of them forgot. So tonight we want to ask ourselves, are we a people who forget? What happens when we forget? We become proud and arrogant. Look at the 14th verse. This is what God says. When I have blessed you, when I have prospered you, then your heart will be proud. And you will forget the Lord who brought you out. How sad is that? You know, you think that when God blesses us, we will remember what God has done, right? You know, now it's orange season in the Garo Hills, right? And, um, Pastor Witterfield brought us some oranges, right? And, uh, when I was eating these oranges and studying Deuteronomy chapter 8, Ah, yeah. um, all of a sudden something struck me. You know, when the Israelites were in the wilderness, every day God sent mana, right? And when they went out, they picked up just the right amount of mana. And they came back home. And they gave one to one another. And, and, they, and they ate. And they were happy. But, but today when God brought them into the land, it's a land that is full of fruit, it's prosperous. So now, my hands are full. I don't want to give my brother. I want to keep it all to myself. And you know, God is not able to give me any more. And I don't want to share with anybody. And I now begin to live a terrible existence. One will think that when God gave me more, I would be grateful to him 
learn to give away, right? But now my hands are full. And somehow, I have forgotten the goodness of God. How do I forget the goodness of God? I want to suggest that there are four ways in which I forget the goodness of God. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 6 for a minute, please. Deuteronomy Odai Doko the Tuxan and Yatta. I'm going to read to you verse 12. The, the first thing that we do is that we forget the deeds of God in our life. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 12 Be careful that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of your slavery. Do not forget the deeds of the Lord. Do not forget all that God has done for you. You know, it's such a sad thing. <laughs> As we celebrate our 125th anniversary, have we forgotten what the Lord has done? I used to be the pastor of the Kerry Baptist Church. And in Kerry Baptist Church, they have a pulpit. This was a pulpit of William Carey. William Carey was a shorter man. William So this pulpit was built for a shorter man. Now when you look at that pulpit, there will be people who come from England. Uh, England, from the United States, United States, United States from, from Germany, 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 they will stand on that pulpit and they will cry. Thinking of the goodness of God. Thinking of all the great things God has done. But, but for the people in Kerry Baptist Church, they picked the pulpit. They draw the pulpit. They don't care about the pulpit. Because the pulpit is there all the time. Somebody is coming from England and they are remembering all the good deeds of God. But we who are experiencing the good deeds of God, we have forgotten. We see it all the time. The tomb is there all the time. The pulpit is there all the time. The chair is there all the time. So it is so easy for me to become so familiar with the goodness of God that I forget His glorious deeds in my life. Yesterday, our president made all of us to laugh. Um, today I am speaking, nobody is laughing, right? But, but he, he said something that was important yesterday. He said, pass on to the next generation the stories of God's goodness. All the young people here. How many of you know the stories of the missionaries that came to the Garo people? How many of you know the stories of those great men, Ramke and Omet? Yes, yesterday I talked with Pastor Witterfield about Ranko. New story, I never heard about it before. How many of you know the details of those stories? It's so easy to forget. And today God says, Do not forget what I have done. 
Amen. I see my name. Hey, please do not forget God's goodness in your life. I saw it. I see my name. Take it to your name. Sometimes we are so forgetful, isn't it? Basa ko de na na men goal raka. You know, uh, I think of my relationship with my daughters, right? Ah, uh, ni David's karam baksa. Because bakla me zangi thamgi sa. Yesterday you prayed for my daughter on her birthday. Misalo ang ni David's ni atcheni salo na siya muna biha. Now yesterday on her birthday. Misalo uni atcheni salo. I blessed her with a gift. Ah, baksa onani ko unaw na ha. Just imagine. If she phoned me today, Hello, phone ka ode. And she said, "Daddy, Agande baba, you have not given me a gift for 2 years." Bal signi na khuna de angna ma, mu khon cha jo. How angry I would be. Ah, mata kale khon ange. I gave you a gift yesterday. Me zal ma mosa na na onani ko jo. Forgotten. Na ra khon jo ma. And yet sometimes, adi ba ndakan pasak ko bade. That's the way we deal with God. Aji so baksa ndakan taka. What is done in my life? I forget like that. Let me tell you a story. A story about a, a, a girl. She was born blind. She had no friends. She lived a very lonely life. But a man And then one day, a very handsome man, met this blind girl. And, and he began to love this girl. And he began to care for this girl. And he treated her kindly. And one day he said to her, "Hey, will you marry me?" And the girl said, "I can't see you. How can I marry you?" A few days later, the doctor told the girl, "Doctor, I have good news for you." Somebody is going to give you their eyes. You can see. So the operation was done. When they opened the bandage, she could see. She was so happy. The young man loved her very much. He came to her. Wow, no, no, no. And he said, "Would you marry me?" And she looked at him. He said, "I won't marry you." Because you're blind. You don't have eyes. I won't marry you. I'm going to go out and marry somebody else. And so she left her home. A few days later, she got a note from the young man. And in that note he wrote, I still love you very much. Take good care of my eyes. I gave my eyes so that you can see. But now that you can see, you don't love me anymore. I don't know if God is saying that to some of us. I gave my life on Calvary. To redeem you. But you so easily go and live a sinful life. You so easily forget the goodness, the good deeds of God. So number one, we forget the deeds of God. Number two, we forget to depend upon God. The Bible says in Second Chronicles chapter sixteen. Second Chronicles. Sixteen. In the seventh verse of Second Chronicles chapter sixteen, the Bible says Hanani the prophet. He comes to Asa the king. And this is what he says. He says, "You have relied on the king of Aram, and not on the Lord your God." You have 
have relied on the king of Aram. Aram ni raja usa pangtaka. And have forgotten the Lord your God. Aram thani gatel isol ko gwalha. How do I forget God? Mari ki angara isol ko gwalha. Skangba. I forget the deeds of God. I sol ni da kani ra ko gwalha. Number 2. I forget to depend upon God. Anga isolo pangchak na gwala. Talk about the history of the Garo people. Achikrangni jangithani mahambi ko ani chore. It's a history of depending upon God. One isolo pangchak ani golpo ba mahambi. You know Sasha was telling me about how the early missionaries hid in the forest for a few days. Skango ino ibajik missionary mai ke aditya sanra burung rango dongna nang hau rani bona kada. Hi girls. Matsarang wild animal. Mat burung rang and they depended upon God. Aro dakka ba obostha bomang e solo sa pangchaka ha. But today the Garo church. Ega dalo achik mondoli rana. Do we depend upon the Lord? Ansara gutelo pangchaka ma. I want you to think about it. Ni chanchi ni ko anang dikia. Father I'm speaking to you. आर भागपरंग आने से मना करनी है। Mother, I'm speaking to you। मागपांग आना ना करनी है। When you send your child to a school, नागनी देगपाको ना स्कूल ची वाता तो। When you send your child to a college, नागनी देगपाको ना कॉलेज सुना वाता तो। Have you cried out to God and said, God, before I send my child, I want to seek your direction? आह इस ओल अंगानी देगपाको ना वाता तो ना स्कांग, नागनी स्कानी को सांगा चेंग ना कदा स्कानी ना आगर मां। Think about Jesus. Before he started his ministry, wa uni kang ko abatin as kang. Forty days and forty nights. A sal supri, wal supri. Depending on the Father. Pagpao pangtsa. Before he chose his twelve disciples, uni snang pa sakchi kani ko basin as kang. All night in prayer. Wal gumak isolopia. When the disciples got up in the morning. जैन सरस्वती ने परम प्रेम चाहा था। Where is Jesus? जीसु वाला पाची जो? He's alone with the Father. वह भागुबा बक्सा दिक्कत सोमाई को आई हाँ। What was Jesus doing? जीसु माई को रखेंगे। He was depending on the Father. वह भागुबाओ पंग चकिंग हाँ। Have we forgotten to depend on God? अंसरे इस सोलो ने ये पंग चकना गुआला हाँ माँ। Now I depend on my own wisdom. Now they are telling me, "Is it sing?" We depend upon our strategies. Ah, sing. My dear, take na kana uwa changa sa panyo. We depend upon our money. Ah, ji thang khao sa pangchak sa jo. But God says, "Do not forget to depend upon me." Ani ni so laga na ango pangchak na gwal na be. Lesson number one. Skang ko baski ra. Do not forget the deeds of the Lord. Is so ni takani ra ko gwal na be. Lesson number two. Ani ko baski ra. Do not forget to depend upon the Lord. The great evangelist Billy Graham, Adalgopaski Prakapa Billy Graham, at one time said, "Changsawa ni kya kana?" As he was preaching, wa gan praking on, he found something that was empty in his life. Uni jangi thane mai ba kongrang wa ni kwa chato na. People were not coming to Jesus Christ. Mande rangara Jesus na ni baljenga. He was wondering why. Arua mai ni kaman ne mang. And then as he began to pray, arjen sarua bina bache ha. He realized something. Wa mai kaba kiska ha. He had started to depend upon himself. Wa an thang usa pangchak na bache ha. He had started to depend upon his wisdom. Wa an thani gisak singan usa pangchak na bache ha. He had started to depend upon good illustrations. Arua he started to depend on good illustrations. He started to depend upon program. Wah program nak aku nama tak kau sebangsa nak bercinta. And he said God convicted me. Aduh agan aku isol amna ya ko hiat tah. Because when I used to preach, mana aku jenis orang agan kerja. I preached about God's Son coming into the world. Ah isol ni depan dia agus orang ni bani mana agan. Dying on the cross of Calvary. Cheers ko bini si isol ni si cakar ni mana. Being buried. Aduh gopani ke mana? Rising again. Aduh cakar tulen ni mana? He's coming again. Wani bap ni ya? And people came to Jesus. Udah mandi orang jenis orang ni ba. But when I start to depend on my own wisdom, di bawah antani gisak si ane bangsa ko. All of a sudden there is an emptiness in my ministry. Angni tangdek yo nario kongrang wani kwa cha tota. Do you depend on God? Na isolo pangsa ka ma? Think about it. Yeni mun san chi ba? As an individual. Na antang. Do you depend on God? Isolo pangsa ka ma? The most important decisions you take in your life. Na angni zangi ta ni mongsong ka pa basi rani ko takon. Do you stop and say God help me? Na don thoi ma ka na ma isolo ang na dakchak mo. Or do you forget to depend upon the Lord? Do not forget the deeds of God. 
isoli da kanirang ko guwan do not forget to depend upon the lord ay gatelo pang chak na guwan thirdly gatang do not forget to delight, delight in the lord gatelo kasung na gata guwan be in hosea chapter 3 hosea oda ke thamo in hosea chapter 2 sorry in hosea chapter 2 hosea oda ke nio in verse 13 pot chi ke thamo this is what god says isol ya ko gana i will punish her for the days she burn incense to the baals wa baal matira no ni cha cha tang ko suan nyang ko sasti on ge she decked herself with rings and jewelry wa da bi antang ko ganani rang chi thari ha and went after her lovers aru ani ke antang ni kasa thang ni jaman jabar yang ha and she forgot the lord her god aru ani ke wa antang ni isol ko gatel ko gwal ha the third thing we forget kathang pan chini gwal ani is to delight in the lord our god anchini gatel isol ko khasrok na gada gwal ha he made us for his purpose wa ni maksuani na sa chiko ata i i heard a pastor speaking recently Ana dite somena ska phamong ni apan ni ko khna bor man in his church a saksa mande jian ni mondori do he was a young man dambe chalabe bande he came to jesus christ wa jesus christ nai ba and as a youth member aro chadam be do do ta he was always on fire for the lord aro ani ke gatel na na man khasro kan do sima but then god blessed him right adi jam ni isol na ba tia god gave him a big job ana dala kham ko na beautiful wife asal ke pa chak ba ko na big house dal ke pa no ko na and the pastor never saw this man anymore uni jam ne phamu ya mande ko chap chang sa the man was not even coming to church kal sa chiom ya mande ba sa the pastor would call him Pamo na pokha ke re past I'm so busy. Wa gana ta pamo na ga chak chak jaya. I don't have time for God. A de isona somai dong cha cha. I'm making money. A thang kha ko ta ba. I'm running after the ball. A nga na ko ba ba nga na na cha ru ki ya. I'm worshiping my God. A nga de ba ng te na na ko ba na cha ru ki. I don't have time for God. A isona somai dong cha. And then the pastor said, Pamo ga na ha. The man went to the doctor one day. Doctor na mante sa so ya ha. And the doctor said, Doctor Agana I've got bad news you've got cancer Namen namgiza khobor nangode cancer dongaha Everything changed Ra kanda tha Now the man had time for church Tau dia mande gulzari na sumai dong thaiha He had time for his family Noktang na sumai dong thaiha He was spending time with his children De jang baksa sumai ri The same man Absan mande And so the pastor said Men pamo agana Does God need to give you cancer Iso na na cancer sa ni ko na na ma so that you turn to him. Anta ko na anpul si na kita. And I thought to myself how sad it is. Pero anta na niki chasya. May takpul. I don't have time for God. Iso na sumay nang jawa. The moment I have cancer, di ba cancer sa tukod eh? Now I have time for God. Now de unang sumay nang taya. I'm coming to pray. I solo bina. I'm spending more time with my wife. Ang sakop ang sumay man pa. I'm talking with my children. Ani de drang baksa sumay. But I don't have cancer. Ah, cancer tong sao de? Who cares for anything? Sawa may na sa jing. So the pastor said, "Does God need to give you cancer so that you remember?" Ani man pa mo kana? Isora na na anta ko gisra si na cancer sa bisi o na na ma? Have we forgotten to delight in the Lord our God? Na ara, gatel isolo kasrok nagita gwaling ama. Number one. Sangaba have i forgotten the deeds of god iso yang na takari nang ko gwala ma number 2 ri gpa have i forgotten to depend upon the lord gtel lo pang chak na ga gwala ma number 3 ga thang gpa have i forgotten to delight in the lord anga gtel lo kha strok na gwala ma and finally as i close matso ta ting on bon khame have we forgotten we were designed for god am sing ko ra iso an thang na sa thari ha ne man sa ji na gwala ma I want to finish with these glorious words of Jesus. Anga Jisuni ya katharang si matso ta nasira. Matthew chapter 16. Mati orai si. Verse 26. Pod kolgrekto. What good will it be for someone if he gains the whole world? Mande alasa kamak kho manoba but loses his soul. Anthani jagi kho gamato de mai pite ko mato. You know what God designed us for something that special. We are my soul and singna at singko mai badan thang man chana sathari ha God has designed me for eternity Isol and singko jrun jrot na sathari ha God has a great plan for my life Ami jangi thani soul thang man chata sonikodona ha This world is not my home 
I will die soon. And then I will live an eternity with God. What is the good of gaining the whole world? But, but in the process forgetting why God made me. Uh, this evening, as we stop and look at God's word, God's, God's word is, is like a mirror. Have we forgotten the deeds of God? Have we forgotten to depend upon the Lord? Have we forgotten to delight in the Lord? Have we forgotten that we are designed for the Lord? Tonight God says, Will you make that decision tonight? I do not want to forget. I do not want to forget. I do not want to forget. I want to write down the good the deeds of God. I want to teach them to my children. I want to remember what God has done. Every eye closed, every head bowed. Let's, let's pray together. As every eye is closed and every head is bowed. I know that God is speaking to you tonight. This is God's desire. He wants to prosper you. He wants you to possess the land. He wants to fulfill his promises for you. This is God's dealing in your life. He showered you with grace. He's guided you. He's been generous to you. He's guarded you. And tonight that God asks you, Have you forgotten me? Have you forgotten his deeds? Have you forgotten to depend upon him? Have you forgotten to delight in him? Have you forgotten this evening that you were designed for him? I know that God is speaking to your heart tonight. He's speaking to mine. And I want to acknowledge Many times I've forgotten. And because of my forgetfulness, I've rebelled against God. But tonight can we cry out to God and say to Him, Lord, help me not to forget. Help me to remember your goodness, God. That I would always walk with you. If God spoke to you tonight and you're saying I keep forgetting all the time. You know, God's been so gracious to me but I just keep living a, a life of recklessness. Tonight I want to ask God to help me not to forget. Um, if you're saying that tonight, wherever you're seated, just put up your right hand and put it down. I want to pray for you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see many hands. Okay. So I'm not going to ask you to come in front. But those of you who raised your hands, can you just stand for one minute, please? Um, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll just close in prayer. Thank you. Just stand up. If God spoke to you. And, and you said, God, I'm forgetful. Please help me. Just stand up, my friend. I want to pray for you. Many of you are standing. If God spoke to you, you may be a pastor. You, you may be a leader. But you just keep forgetting. Uh, don't feel ashamed. You just stand up. You're not standing for me to see. You're standing for God to see. And you say to Him, 
ไอ้ซาดิงโกเจดะโกเดียนซิงบีนะมันเกียนธีคิวเวรี่มัชเนเทลลาเลตส์เพรย์ทูเกเดอร์ฮันซิงบีนะฟาเดอร์วีวอน